In this video, let's form differential equation of a family of hyperbolas having foci on x-axis and center at the origin. So this is the hyperbola for which we want to form differential equation. We know that equation of hyperbola is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1. We see that this equation has two arbitrary constants. So the differential equation will be of the order 2. So we will need to differentiate this two times. Let's call this equation number 1 and start differentiating. So we get differentiation of x square as 2x and a square is constant. So we are going to write it just like that. Plus b, 1 by b square will remain as it is. And differentiation of y will be 2y dy by dx equal to differentiation of 1 which is a constant and it will be 0. So from here we can cancel 2 since it is in all the terms and we are going to get x upon a square plus y upon b square dy by dx equal to 0. Now let's differentiate this one more time. Let's call this equation number 2. So differentiating 2, we are going to get differentiation of x will be 1. So 1 upon a square plus now 1 by b square. Let's take it out. And we need to differentiate y into dy by dx. We are going to differentiate this using the identity used to differentiate functions in multiplication. So if we have two functions u and v in multiplication and we need to differentiate it, the result is calculated as first function into differentiation of second function plus second function into differentiation of first function. So we are going to use this identity to calculate the differentiation of y into dy by dx. So first let's call this equation number 3 and start calculating. So we are going to get 1 upon a square plus 1 upon b square. Now let's call y as first function and dy by dx as second function. So calcu to calculate that differentiation, we will get first function that is y into d by dx of dy by dx plus second function which is dy by dx into differentiation of first function which is y. So differentiation of y is dy by dx and this is equal to 0. From this equation, let's calculate the value of 1 upon a square. So 1 upon a square can be written as minus of 1 upon b square multiplied by y into second order differentiation of a y plus dy by dx whole square. Let's call this equation number 4. Let's substitute equation number 4 in equation number 2. So in this equation, we are going to substitute in place of 1 upon a square, the value of 1 upon a square that we have calculated just now. So let's see what we get. We will get x into 1 upon a square, that is minus 1 by b square into y into d square y upon dx square plus dy by dx whole square plus y upon b square into dy by dx equals 0. Now we can take 1 by b square common here. So we are going to get 1 by b square into, let's write the positive term first. So we can write y into dy by dx minus x into y d square y upon dx square plus dy by dx whole square equals 0. Now since 1 by b square is in multiplication, we can cancel this out and we can 
simplify this to get the final differential equation. If you, if you realize, we have eliminated both the arbitrary constants now. In this remaining part, there is no arbitrary constant. So we can finally write our solution as y into dy by dx minus xy d square y upon dx square minus x into dy by dx whole square equals 0. We can bring the highest order derivative in positive and write as xy d square y upon dx square plus x into dy by dx whole square minus y dy by dx equals 0. And this is the required differential equation. I hope you understood how we have calculated this. Keep practicing. Let's meet in the next video.